Hi there. In this video, we'll take a look at the stepper motor. This is it here. It, uh, it has a four, four, five, five uh, wire polarized um, plug. This is the motor driver unit. Let's get a closer look at this. It uses a chip called a ULN2003. And it has, uh, has four inputs. These are inputs that connect to the digital pins on the Arduino. And then there are two here. It can accept anything from 5 to 12 volts. This is the minus or the ground. This is, will be the plus 5 that we'll get from our uh, plus 5 pin on the Arduino. The plug goes in here. You can see that there are these notches here. These notches correspond to the notches here. back to our regular focus. So I think the first thing we'll do is connect this up. I have to make sure that it's properly seated so that it's making contact. Next thing we'll do is we'll connect our ribbon cable to the uh, motor driver. And I think what I'll do is we'll connect the black, white, gray, and purple to in one, in two, in three, and in four. And then we'll connect the plus five, the red to plus five, and the brown to our minus or our ground. And we'll leave these just, just hanging. So, depending on the, on the sketch, there may be, uh, well, we don't know until we look at the sketch what pins we are actually connecting to, except for the uh, plus five and ground, we know those, but we don't know what the digital pins, which digital pins we're actually going to need to uh, connect up in our sketch. So let's switch over to our, uh, to our sketch here. So the sketch uh, comes from uh, David Coates uh, from 2005. The website that this sketch comes from, Steppy, Stepper Unipolar, uh, the URL is here. And I've added a link for the Stepper demo sketch uh, on the course website. So we have motor pin 1, 2, 3, and 4 set to digitals 8, 9, 10, and 11. 
Okay, so. One is eight. Black is eight, nine, ten, eleven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. So just trust me, I'm plugging those in. Sorry for the scratchiness. That was the motor controller on my laptop. Okay, so what happens is that we set up some variables, some constants. These are the pins 8, 9, 10, and 11. Then there's a delay time, and that's set to 29 milliseconds. We set the pin modes for digitals 8, 9, 10, and 11 to output. And then all that happens is that different pins are set high or low with a delay time of what the variable is, 29 milliseconds. And the reason it's done, the, done this way is because of the internal construction of the motor, which uses uh, certain kinds of coils to drive the shaft. And it requires the four, uh, four lines to be at different states at different times in order to make the shaft rotate. So let's go back to our uh, external camera. So you can see that we're connected here, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Here's our controller. It's a little bit out of... Let's switch this around. There are lights on the controller which will give you a some visual indication of what, which of the four digital lines are active at any given time. We actually don't need this. Okay. The other thing I'm going to do, I have this piece of rubber coated wire and I'm going to use it as a as an indicator to give us a sense of how, how the rotation is happening. All right. So I'll uh, verify the sketch. And then we'll upload it. OK. Nothing's happening. Let's try it again. It seemed to take a long time to compile. It seemed to take a long, uh, not very long to Upload. Oh, I forgot to 
connect up the plus 5 and ground. That would be a problem. Oops. Excuse me. Okay. Let's try it now. Something's wrong. For some reason it's not it's not cooperating. Well, this is the reason. The wrong pins. I hope I didn't damage anything. There we go. So the, the plus is on the, on the right and the minus is on the left. It's always a good idea when you connect something up to double check it and then after you've double checked it, when you've uh, set up the power, plugged it in, that the lights are working and that the uh, that the board is not heating up. Something gets hot, you know, right away it's uh, it's a bit going to cause a problem very, very quickly. So I'm trying to get things so that we can we can view the lights as necessary. Let's try it now. Now the, just so that you know, the Arduino has an internal fuse so that if there's too much current being drawn, the regulator will, will switch off the power and it will protect the device. So hopefully we haven't broken anything. There we go. So it is working. Now the delay is set up such that the rotation of the motor completes a circuit every 60 seconds. So this is a, a stepper motor clock, basically. Well, it's not all that accurate. If we go back to our 
sketch and change the delay. Let's let's set it rather than 29, let's give it 50. And now you can see that the uh, the blinking lights are blinking slower and the stepper motor is turning. Now you can make it go in another direction. This is just a demonstration. You can play with it and I encourage you to play with the uh, play with the sketch, make changes, see what works and what doesn't. But this is a, the, the stepper motor demo and have fun with it. See you next time.